Often you come across cars that have been repaired in a hurry, of poor quality, so that you can see the traces of repair yourself even without the help of specialists. Bitcoff or drowned need to beware, during operation, they can cause serious trouble. At the same time, the electric train is distinguished by high safety. According to Euro NCAP crash tests conducted in 2012, this model won the maximum five stars. In general, the corrosion resistance of the leaf does not cause any comments, and the presence of rust on the body is a clear sign of the emergency past of a particular instance. Please note, the hood of all cars is made of aluminum alloy and is difficult to straighten. The leaf doors of the first years of production were made of the same material, later they began to be made of metal. Many owners of these cars complain about the poor light versions of halogen front optics, but the headlights with LED lamps shine noticeably better. Although, in general, the optics of the American versions differ in other settings and, during certification, they need to be replaced with a European one. Since headlights are not cheap, some enterprising Ukrainian businessmen rent out Euro headlights for certification, $50 rent and $500 deposit for optics. Another feature of the Americans, the absence of repeaters in the wings and the rear fog, which also will not allow certification, as well as a spherical left exterior mirror, which does not allow you to accurately determine the distance to the object. Another note on the condition of attachments, on the oldest cars, the fastening of the aerodynamic trunk visor can loosen, which will remind you of itself with an additional knock when the fifth door is closed. Against the background of the progressive technological filling of the leaf, its exterior looks modest and uninteresting, which cools the fuse of many buyers to buy this car. Well, how could you draw such a boring car? The manufacturer took into account public criticism, the second generation of the electric car, which will officially debut at the end of the year at the Auto Motor Show in Frankfurt, as a bright and expressive design. The interior is also decorated to match the exterior, quite simply, especially in inexpensive versions, where there is no advanced multimedia system with the touchscreen touchscreen on the center console, bordered by black piano lacquer. Although some design decisions may still surprise, the leaf cabin is not very spacious and the most comfortable in it will be four crew members, see photo. The driver's side view is eaten up a little by the A-shaped left pillar. The quality of the plastic interior trim is low, it is solid, fortunately, it is not creaky. Interior upholstery comes in dark shades and beige. The last impractical one is very easily soiled. The fabric upholstery should also be criticized in general, there have been cases when the lateral support of the seat, often the drivers, cracked. In general, the interior equipment is reliable, and only the air conditioning system can be criticized. The most common leaf has the right to be proud of a fairly roomy trunk compared to many classmates. Its only drawbacks are the high loading opening and the lack of space for a spare tire. Nissan believes that the city train does not need it, and a flat bottom significantly improves the aerodynamics of the car. In addition, the functionality of earlier versions before 2013 onwards limited by a high box partition between the rear arches, which also ate 40 liters of usable volume. During the modernization, the interfering partition was removed. The battery is not disposable. All Leafs are equipped with a three-phase AC synchronous electric motor that develops a modest 109 horsepower from 2730 to 9800 RPM, but still delivers an impressive maximum torque of 280 Newton meters, available from start to 2730 RPM. In principle, the engine does not require any maintenance, it does not even have contact brushes familiar to many electric motors. This electric train does not have a familiar gearbox either, its function is performed by a conventional single-stage gearbox. The reverse gear is engaged by changing the polarity of the electric motor, as a result of which it begins to spin in the opposite direction. Unlike an electric motor, the gearbox requires maintenance, the lubricant in it must be changed every 40 to 50,000 kilometers run. The electric motor is driven by a traction lithium-ion battery, which on most Leafs develops 24 kilowatts of power and, under optimal conditions, provides a range of 135 kilometers EPA. More expensive versions, SV and SL, released since 2016 have received a more powerful 30 kilowatts battery, which is able to provide a range of 172 kilometers EPA or 250 kilometers on the European NEDC measurement cycle. Although there are few versions with a reinforced battery in Ukraine, the manufacturer gives an eight-year warranty on the battery or 160,000 kilometers. However, 
you should not think that with such an age or mileage, the Akum will have to be replaced with a new one, domestic craftsmen have already learned how to repair the battery. By its nature, the leaf suspension resembles the Titan, it is soft and comfortable, and structurally it is similar to the sister in the Jukes monodrive brother, the front is an independent McPherson, and the rear is a semi-independent beam. The ground clearance of the electric train is 160 millimeters, but since the battery is located under the bottom of the car, some owners are trying to remove it from road troubles, further increasing the ground clearance by installing non-standard tires with a large profile 215-60R16 and replacing standard racks with higher juke parts. The weak point of the leaf front suspension is ball joints, which on average serve about 70,000 kilometers on our roads. Branded parts are supplied with the lever, but in the non-original, the ball parts can be replaced separately. At the same time, its silent blocks are able to withstand in the region of 100,000 kilometers. Stabilizer consumables have an acceptable resource. Its bushings last 50 to 60,000 kilometers, and the struts a little longer, 60 to 80,000 kilometers. The front shock absorbers may need to be replaced at runs of about 100,000 kilometers, but the rear ones can last longer. Intervention in the rear suspension will be required only after 100,000 kilometers. After such a run, domestic specialists had to change the gum of the semi-independent beam. The steering of all Leafs is equipped with an electric power steering that changes the amount of power depending on the speed of movement. This unit is quite reliable and serves well. Steering tips can withstand about 80,000 kilometers and thrust even longer. The brake system is equipped with disc mechanisms, front, ventilated, and an electric booster. Thanks to the use of energy recovery by the electric motor when the gas is released and thus the speed of movement is reduced, the Leaf's braking system has a much longer resource than that of cars equipped with the traditional internal combustion engine. According to experts, if the owner of an electric car prefers a calm driving style, then the brake pads and discs of his car can withstand an impressive mileage, up to 100,000 kilometers. More expensive versions of the electric train are equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system, and if in one of the wheels it falls below the required level, then the stability control system intervenes in the work, actively slowing down the working wheels and the car is driving noticeably badly. Nissan LEAF deservedly can be proud of the status of the world's most popular electric car, since its introduction at the end of 2016, more than 250,000 such cars have found their customers. The LEAF was most widely used in America, over 103,000 of these electric cars were sold there, followed by Japan, over 72,000, and Europe, almost 68,000. Today, LEAF is no longer exotic, more and more Ukrainian motorists dare to buy it, joining the newfangled trend for us to use cheaper to operate and environmentally friendly electric vehicles. Moreover, not only private traders drive the LEAF, it is actively rolled as a taxi and such cars wind up a considerable mileage on average, about 400 kilometers per day. For a year it turns out to be more than 140,000 kilometers, and such runs already allow us to gain some experience in operating this electric train on our roads, which is why we turned to one of these Ukrainian companies with a request to share our knowledge about the LEAF. As a result, we have significantly changed our attitude towards this electric car. In our previous material on the used LEAF, we took a closer look at its purely automotive qualities and, as it turned out, in this discipline it is in no way inferior to its classmates, see after Center Magazine No. 16 dated August 28, 2017. But today we will decompose its electric filling into blades, telling what it is, how to use it correctly and what is its resource. All Leafs are equipped with a three-phase AC synchronous electric motor that develops a modest 109 horsepower from 2730 to 9800 RPM, but still delivers an impressive maximum torque of 280 Newton meters available from start to 2730 rpm thanks to this moment the electric train is endowed with almost diesel traction and from the start it can easily beat not only many classmates but also larger cars with six cylinder engines true from 300 rpm the leaf deflates the traction weakens and it no longer differs much from cars equipped with atmospheric engines of 1.5 and 1.6 liters the most common versions of the LEAF accelerate to hundreds in 11.9 seconds, and their maximum speed is sufficient, as for a city car, 145 km h. Out of habit, the silent operation of the electric motor is no less surprising. The LEAF crew members do not hear how it starts, rides and works even under heavy load with active speed gain. 
By the way, for the safety of pedestrians, Nissan designers even developed a special vehicle sound for pedestrians VSP, system, which, when driving at speeds up to 30 km h produces a specific sound through the speaker to attract the attention of pedestrians, resembling a sonorous whistle. In principle, the engine does not require any maintenance, it does not even have contact brushes familiar to many electric motors. At the same time, a cooling system is used to cool the motor and inverter, as well as the operation of the stove, the liquid in which must be changed every 50,000 kilometers. The LEAF also uses a traditional 12-volt battery that powers the car's onboard network. By the way, in expensive versions, it is additionally recharged from a solar battery built into the aerodynamic visor of the trunk lid. The function of the gearbox in this electric train is performed by a conventional single-stage gearbox. At the same time, unlike an electric motor, the gearbox requires maintenance, the lubricant in it must be changed every 40 to 50,000 kilometers run. The old battery is being repaired. The electric motor is driven by a traction lithium-ion battery, which on most LEAFs develops 24 kilowatts of power and, under optimal conditions, provides a range of 135 kilometers EPA. More expensive versions, SV and SL, released since 2016 have received a more powerful 30 kilowatts battery, which is able to provide a range of 172 kilometers EPA or 250 kilometers on the European NEDC measurement cycle. Although there are few versions with a reinforced battery. By the way, when buying a used car, it is important to clarify its origin. Leaf designed for eastern markets is not suitable for winters. The manufacturer gives an 8-year warranty for the battery or 160,000 kilometers. However, one should not think that with such an age or mileage, the Akum will have to be replaced with a new one, which, by the way, is not cheap, $5,500, taking into account the return of the old Nissan. In fact, it is prefabricated. It consists of 48 modules, in which four lithium-ion batteries are packed, that is, a total of 192 power cells. Domestic craftsmen have already learned how to repair the battery. As the taxi service serviceman who advised us told us, it is possible to restore the capacity of a worn-out cell electronically by performing its force calibration. If this does not help, then the cell is changed to another robotic one. In this case, the donors are broken leaves which are brought to Ukraine specifically for spare parts. The mechanics who consulted us call it a kind of battery overhaul and estimate their work in the range of $500 to $1,000. Ukrainian masters also know how to repair other important electronics, inverters, converters, and chargers. In extreme cases, they can also be replaced with serviceable parts from an emergency copy or ordered from America. By the way, the LEAF driver can see the remaining battery capacity right on the dashboard, displayed as a semicircle of luminous sticks in its right corner. The first, out of 12, extinguished indicators means a drop in capacity by 16%, each next, by 6.5%. Much depends on the nature of the operation of the electric train by the first owner, but in two or three years and with a run of about 20 to 30,000 kilometers, the leaf, as a rule, does not go out more than one or two sticks out of 12. Another more advanced way to evaluate the capacity of each battery cell separately is to use the proprietary LEAF Spy program, which can be downloaded not only to a laptop, but even to a regular Android smartphone. True, to obtain the necessary information, you will need to additionally purchase a diagnostic Bluetooth or Wi-Fi scanner that connects to the car's OBD2 connector. LEAF Spy also shows how many charge-discharge cycles the battery has experienced, and moreover, how often it has been charged from a heavy-duty station on an accelerated cycle. The operating experience of the Nissan LEAF showed that you should not be afraid of its electric filling. It has proven to be quite reliable, including its most expensive part, the traction battery. Even with its active operation, it retains the residual capacity well. There are LEAF taxis that have already rolled under 200,000 kilometers and at the same time the number of dead sticks of battery life does not exceed two pieces and this is somewhere around 80% of its capacity. It inspires confidence in the future and the fact that domestic craftsmen have learned how to repair the battery, breathing a second life into it. The purely automotive qualities of used Nissan Leafs do not cause serious complaints either. To share the secrets of the correct charging of the Nissan Leaf and the intricacies of saving the charge of the traction battery, we asked the technical specialists of the Oxy Taxi Company whose fleet consists exclusively of passenger electric vehicles of this Japanese brand. 
Their company cars, on average, roll about 400 kilometers a day, and there are instances whose odometers are approaching the mark of 200,000 kilometers. Such an active experience of operating the Nissan LEAF in a taxi made it possible to test this model for reliability in the best possible way and find out all the features of its electronics. As you know, the LEAF's traction battery is charged through a special port located on the nose of the car and hidden behind a small hatch with the Nissan emblem. Due to such a design feature, problems often arise with this door, since there is no familiar ICE in the LEAF, due to the lack of heat, the hatch often freezes over and, if necessary, it cannot be opened. Knowledgeable people advise using anti-ice antifreeze agents in cold weather to avoid trouble. Depending on the year of manufacture and modification, the Nissan LEAF may be equipped with different charging connectors. All trains have a port for standard and accelerated charging. But not all cars have a heavy-duty CHIDMO port, with which the traction battery gains 80% charge in just around 30 minutes. Some EV owners, and the Nissan LEAF in particular, find that boosted charging with the heavy-duty CHIDMO port shortens battery life. Note that in particular, the manufacturer recommends no more than one such charge per day. But the taxi service specialists who advised us said that they almost always charge their cars through CHIDMO and their batteries are still in full working order. True, with this mode of operation, it is important to observe small tricks. With regular use of heavy-duty charging, it is necessary to feed the Akum once a week with a slow charge, during which it is calibrated, and when using CHIDMO, it is very important not to overheat the Akum. An equally important note for an electric car is a charger. The LEAF has it built in and comes in different capacities. In the basic S versions it is 3.6 kilowatts, and in the more expensive SV and top-end SL it is 6.6 kilowatts. It is better, of course, to purchase more expensive versions. After all, with accelerated charging from stations with a capacity of 10 to 20 kilowatts, located at some gas stations and near large supermarkets, you can fully charge a 24 kilowatt electric train battery in 3 to 4 hours, while the basic versions the recharge time will be almost twice as long. But the charging time from a household power outlet with a voltage of 220V and a current of 16A, maximum 3.5 kilowatts, for all versions of the LEAF will be the same and will be about 7 to 8 hours. As a rule, it is in this way that the owners have night feedings of the battery. By the way, pay attention, in winter, the charging time, especially outside warm garages, increases by 30 to 40%. Many motorists who try to buy a LEAF mistakenly think that it can be charged from a regular home or office outlet. This is not true, because even with slow charging, the electric train consumes a current of 3.5 kilowatts and such a voltage often leads to overheating of standard sockets and, as a result, to melting of electrical contacts and wiring. Often, the car's charging cable also deteriorates, reminiscent of an enlarged lanyard for charging a laptop, and it costs a lot, about $300. By the way, quite often used LEAF come to Ukraine without this important device and the owners have to buy it in addition. American cables also require a special adapter for Euro sockets. In order to avoid problems, experts advise all LEAF owners to specially prepare a household electrical network for its trouble-free charging, allocate a separate line with powerful wiring, a socket, and a fuse. The main enemies of the power reserve. Recall that the movement of the electric motor is driven by a traction lithium-ion battery, which on most LEAF develops a power of 24 kilowatts and, under optimal conditions, provides a range of 135 kilometers, EPA. More expensive versions, SV and SL, released since 2016 have received a more powerful 30 kilowatts battery, which is able to provide a range of 172 kilometers, EPA, or 250 kilometers on the European NEDC measurement cycle. Although there are few versions with a reinforced battery in Ukraine. Speaking about how much mileage you can drive on a fully charged battery, it is important to mention what affects its discharge. The main enemies are dynamic driving, as well as the heating and air conditioning system of the cabin. Powerful starts from traffic lights and movement with the gas pedal recessed into the floor actively eat up the remaining power reserve. The same applies to the use of the stove and air conditioning. Often, Leaf owners have to put up with the fact that in order to save charge, they have to sweat in the summer and freeze in the winter. However, there is a technical possibility not only to save battery power, but even replenish it. So, Leaf offers several driving modes. The usual transmission mode is the position of the selector washer D, drive, 
the second is the economical position B, break, in which energy recovery is noticeably stronger, the car begins to actively slow down immediately after the driver takes his foot off the gas pedal. This mode allows you to recharge the battery by storing energy on descents and when slowing down at traffic lights. There is another ECO mode, which is activated using the button on the steering wheel. It prevents the active use of the electric train, reducing the intensity of acceleration when the accelerator pedal is pressed and allowing you to add about 5% to the power reserve. The active experience of operating the Nissan LEAF as a taxi showed that this electric car turned out to be quite reliable and unpretentious. Experts have no serious comments about its automotive qualities and the reliability of the electric filling. Frequent owners of this model should also not be afraid of accelerated charging using the heavy-duty CHIDMO port. If simple rules are followed, this mode does not cause much harm to the traction battery. Although, before purchasing a Nissan LEAF, its owner should best arrange a home charging place, where he can replenish its charge every night without problems, in a calm mode and without the risk of overheating the battery.